Hi, today we're going to show you how to get the best headshot using your phone or tablet. You should have received a package by now from the MDP team with a blanket, a light, and some clips to hang it. We suggest you iron or steam the blanket to get all the wrinkles out. In this video, we chose not to iron half of the blanket so we can show you how to remove those wrinkles in Lightroom. But again, to avoid this extra editing work, we highly suggest you do it beforehand. Find somewhere with sufficient natural light to hang your backdrop and try to avoid yellow light bulbs. They will dramatically affect your final results. Choosing an outfit for your headshots is key. You want to avoid anything with bright patterns or bright colors, and definitely avoid competitor colors. Stick with blues, blacks, grays, even whites are okay. Throw on a vest or a blazer to add a little bit of extra dimension, but always remember, patterns are bad, solid colors are good. Next, let's talk about body position. In this example, you do not want your body straight onto the camera. In this example, we turned our body way too far away from the camera. This is not good. This is a great position. Your body is about 45 degrees to away from the camera and your head is straight into it. Have a friend or family member take the headshot to make it easier. Have them line you up in the frame and don't worry if there's actually overlap outside of the blanket. In this case, we try to get it just right on, but it's okay because we will be cropping later in Photoshop. Make sure your eyes are at the top of the frame, get a nice smile and snap away. All right, let's talk about editing. Go ahead and open Lightroom on your tablet and import the image. This is the one that we've selected. I like my smile and I like the way my body position is. First thing I wanna fix is getting rid of those wrinkles. At the bottom of your screen, you wanna go over and select healing. From there, you can adjust the size of your brush. And what you wanna do is go ahead and color in an area that has the wrinkles. In this case, we're gonna start on the left-hand side and I'm gonna paint over those wrinkles. Next, I'm gonna be able to select where I want it to take a sample from. In this case, I found a spot that doesn't have wrinkles and we're gonna go off of that. Next, I'm gonna select another healing brush and I'm gonna get rid of the big wrinkles off to the left or right-hand side here. In this case, going in small little chunks to achieve the best results. Let's watch as I go ahead and take out the rest of the wrinkles around my head. If you mess up, don't worry, there is an undo button at the top of your screen. Go in small sections to get the best results and highlight and refine your brush to get even more detailed. All right, looks like I'm about wrapping up here and I'm pretty happy with these results. Again, I'm gonna do a little bit of cropping so I'm not trying to get every single wrinkle out. Remember, this is a headshot, so we're gonna crop out anything that's not necessary. We don't need to see your entire body. Now that I've got the image exactly where I like it, I notice that I'm a little yellow and I'm a little orange, so we're gonna fix that. Go over to the color tab, select color, then select mix, and adjust your yellows and your oranges. In some cases, you might be too blue and you wanna add a little bit of orange. Play around with the colors to get the best skin tones. Now that we have our skin tones right, we've got our wrinkles gone, it's time to add a little bit of attention straight to our face. There's a few ways to achieve this. You can adjust just the exposure tab, which I don't like. You can also go to the bottom and click effects and then add a vignette. I also don't really like this approach either because it draws almost a perfect circle around the outside of the frames and it's not very flattering. I'm gonna show you a different way. The way I like to do it is go all the way to the bottom, scroll all the way to the left, and click the Selective tab. Click the, in the upper left-hand corner the circle and draw a circle around your face. Get it as close to the face as possible. Once you have the circle around your face, select the Invert button. It's the black and white square just above the trash can. And again, tweak it so it's just the face and skin areas that you're getting in the shot. Then from here, we're going to go to light and we're going to turn down the exposure. As you can see, it's keeping my face nice and bright, but it's making everything else dark around me. This is drawing attention straight into my face. However, now that I'm looking at it, I kind of don't like it. I think that it's making my face too bright. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the selective tab. You're going to see a little dot on your face, which we're going to go ahead and select. And then from there, we can click back on the light tab and readjust it to make it look a little bit more natural. There we go, I like that. 
Now you can see a before and an after. We've got our wrinkles. Now they're gone. You can see the light around the face. Everything looks great. Now we're going to save it. Go ahead and with the image selected, click the little export button at the top. Click export to camera roll. And now that image is saved. Make sure to upload your new headshot to the MDP app as well as WebEx.